This Friday is just like last Friday. Good Friday morning to you. Let's get this party started. Let's party. Okay, party people. I love working here. What are you going to wear on casual Friday? If you buy me a beer, I'll see what I can work up. Oh, Take a beer and two olives to stuff in my ears. You know what? I shouldn't have had that eighth beer. Today's radio show is sponsored by Alcohol. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. The train wreck that is Charlie Sheen continues to roll on, folks. Last week, it was revealed that the National Enquirer has a recording of Charlie Sheen threatening to have his ex fiance Brett Rossi, killed because she's suing him for assault, battery, and HIV exposure. On the tape, Charlie says that what Brett did is punishable by death and that he'd like to pay $20,000 to have her, quote, head kicked in, unquote. Well, the cops aren't just blowing this off as Charlie's usual brand of crazy. The LAPD's threat management unit is investigating him. They've even obtained a search warrant for a particular property. We're assuming it's Charlie's house, where they suspect they'll find evidence of criminal activity. Charlie's people haven't officially commented on the investigation, but they have said off the record that Rossi is lying and her lawsuit is just revenge for Charlie breaking off their engagement and cutting her off financially. More to come on this mess. Country legend Merle Haggard died on Wednesday on his 79th birthday due to complications from pneumonia, and he actually predicted the day it would happen. His son Ben wrote this on Facebook. A week ago, Dad told us he was going to pass on his birthday, and he wasn't wrong. An hour ago, he took his last breath. Yeah, rest in peace, Merle Haggard. You will be missed. Jimmy Kimmel Live will be taken over by Marvel Studios next week with the stars of Captain America Civil War stopping by. And Benedict Cumberbatch will be stopping by to unveil the first Doctor Strange trailer. Well, a sure sign of spring is the Masters Tournament. Yeah, it's underway, and it's going to be even more extreme than ever this year. Here's a taste of what you can expect. This weekend, experience one of the most intense sporting events of the year. What you can see there, just the quality of the turf management here. So dense, thick, and cut so short. Live from Augusta, Georgia, it's the Masters. Hoffman's just tapped in for his par. Three wood here. Every swing, every putt, every walk down the fairway. Don't miss a second of the heart-stopping action. Definitely uh, would have preferred to leave it on the other side of the hole there. The Masters on CBS. It's as exciting as waiting in line at the post office, only with a green jacket. Don't miss it. Well, sad news for both of her viewers, I guess. E! has cancelled Khloe Kardashian's talk show. Oh no! Now we'll never get to hear from a Kardashian ever again! The Catholic Church is offering a course in casting out Satan. Although really, you can do it in one simple step. Stop watching the Kardashians. Donald Trump has more than 50% support in his home state of New York. But don't forget, that number also includes Pizza Rat and the guy you always see fondling himself on the subway. Janet Jackson has delayed her upcoming concert tour because she and her husband are planning a family. Well, that and the fact that it's no longer 1986. Have you seen that video of a Starbucks customer verbally assaulting Florida Governor Rick Scott when he went into a Gainesville Starbucks, accusing him of not caring about the working class? The governor tried to ignore her, sipped his latte, and then quickly made his way to his personal helicopter. Yeah, the world's biggest Starbucks is coming to Manhattan. It will feature 600 chairs, 400 tables, and 9,000 wannabe screenwriters. Scientists have created a new simulator that allows users to experience death. Or you can just move to Kentucky. Your call. New York's murder rate is at a historic low. These days, if you want to see anyone slaughtered in Manhattan, you have to go to a Knicks game. The American Idol finale was last night. The list of past winners is a who's who of singers. Literally. You're like, who? And who? Time for Nobody Gives a F***. 
Sarah Palin and Azalea Banks are feuding, and somehow their fight is actually sadder than the one between Batman and Superman. Hey, idiot and idiot, nobody gives a f Yesterday was National Walking Day, or as most Americans call it, Thursday. Hey, walkers, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network is proud to present Frank D'Angelo and his 15-piece band Spring Concert Tour. Friday, April 15th at Aeolian Concert Hall, London. Saturday, April 16th at Seneca Queen Theatre, Niagara Falls. Saturday, May 21st at Algonquin Theatre, Huntsville. And Friday, May 27th at the Capitol Theatre, Moncton. For tickets, go to frankdangelo.ca.